Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today I'm not really going to be going in depth on anything, but I'm just going to be quickly covering a breaking story in the NBA where Kristaps Porzingis today on January 31st actually requested a trade a little while ago, just like an hour or two ago. And immediately after that, it seems like less than an hour after that came out, it was revealed that Chris Porzingis is being traded from the Knicks to the Dallas Mavericks. Now, the whole deal is that Porzingis, uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Courtney Lee are being traded to the to the Mavericks for DeAndre Jordan, Dennis Smith Jr., and Wes Matthews. Now, there will likely be some compensation and first-round picks exchanging hands, but that is basically the deal. Now, my first initial reaction to this is, oh, wow, the Knicks really, really messed up here. Now, as I'm sure many people on social media will tell you, the thing is the Knicks really made this move just to clear up cap space. But now they will have a space to sign some big-name players. But the real thing is... There are, I think, many ways that the Knicks could have avoided all of this, and instead of having to trade Kristaps Porzingis to clear up cap, cap space, they could have kept him, and instead of taking up all of their space by guy by signing guys like Tim Hardaway Jr. to uh, absolutely like outrageous contracts, they should have managed their cap space and prepared to sign Porzingis and two players on max contracts, which would have actually gave them a pretty good team. But now, they traded away Kristaps Porzingis just to create cap space. Space. And honestly, that is pretty terrible. As once again, I'm sure many people on social media will tell you, trading away Kristaps Porzingis just to create cap space is absolutely a terrible idea. And there were way better ways to have gone about this. Now, like I said, for the Knicks, I don't think that they really care about which players they got back. Although they did get back DeAndre Jordan and Dennis Smith Jr., which I guess are okay pieces, especially DeAndre Jordan. But once again, Kristaps Porzingis really was not the correct piece to give up. He was supposed to be the building block of their franchise. And I think pretty much every single New York Knicks fan out there can tell you that they agree with what I just said, that the Knicks are very stupid for making this move, even though Porzingis did request a trade. There were definitely better ways to go about this and get back better players um, instead of what they got back, which is Wesley Matthews, who is an okay player, DeAndre Jordan, who's pretty good, and Dennis Smith Jr., and um, here in terms just of the actual impact, I think what's going to happen now is the Knicks are probably going to try to build around Dennis Smith Jr. and DeAndre Jordan, particularly DeAndre Jordan, if they don't try and uh, end up leaving themselves anytime soon. But I think the team that we should focus on the most is the Dallas Mavericks. Because the thing is, the Mavericks now have a very solid and a great-looking team, in my opinion, and they'll probably be able to compete and maybe not in this season <clears throat> since Kristaps Porzingis is still injured with his ACL tear but probably next season. And that's with Luka Doncic has proven himself to be actually one of the top players in the entire league. And Kristaps Porzingis was also proved to be a great player. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I think that Porzingis and Doncic will provide a great dynamic duo. The duo together will be able to shoot, drive, pass, um, uh, a post up on the inside and really just do whatever and so them uh, combined with Harrison Barnes and other players the Mavs have I think they have a very solid base and be able to compete in the future Ben I think that the, the Dallas Mavericks will become a relevant team once again in the NBA and definitely a team to watch out for <clears throat> however the one thing that could be standing in their way is that Kristaps Porzingis due to a qualifying offer and everything offered by the Mavericks he will become a free agent in 2020 now assuming that Dallas does pretty good in the next season when Christoph Cruzing is, is healthy again, hopefully. Um, then Porzingis, I think, will want to stay and not leave behind Luka Doncic in 2020 free agency. However, he definitely could do that and could go to another team. Um, and I think we all think that at this point that he might go to the Lakers. I really don't believe that's going to happen, but that's obviously a possibility. And there are other team places he could go as well. So I think that next season, not this current season, but the season after, will be an extremely crucial season for the Mavericks because they have to try to prove that they can do well with the duo of Doncic and Porzingis. They have to compete enough to convince Porzingis to stay so he could continue to build a great team. Because thing is, Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis are still extremely young players and they have a lot of talent 
and if Dallas is able to keep both of them for the long term, they'll be able to do very well. Now on the Knicks side, I already mentioned, I think that they might try to build around DeAndre Jordan and Dennis Smith Jr. and maybe sign a couple max uh, players. Um, it's not likely, but maybe they'll try to pursue Kevin Durant. But besides that, I really can't say anything positive for the Knicks. It's not looking like a good situation right now in New York, and I honestly do feel bad forever as a Knicks fan. They cannot be happy right now. Anyway, that's about it for the video today. I hope you all did enjoy. I know it wasn't very detailed or in-depth, but uh, this is extremely shortly after the trade occurred, so I just wanted to get this out there and talk to you guys about it as quickly as possible. So once again, hope you all did enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what you thought of the video and what you thought, thought of the trade, definitely, because this will be pretty impactful, especially in the future years to come. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next one. Goodbye, everybody.